This video aims to introduce the operational steps of different functional modes of Navy Force Watch. We got the NF9144 with five functional modes. Firstly, I am supposed to present you the key components involved during this adjustment process. The button on the top left side of the watch is named button A. In counterclockwise order, the second button is button B. The third one is button C. And the fourth one is button D. The mark display in this area is a simple criteria for judging what function is operated. When the weak mark appears on the display, such as MOM, indicating Monday, it turns out that the watch is in the timer mode. When ARM appears, it indicates the alarm mode. STP indicates stopwatch mode or chronograph mode. TR indicates countdown mode. DT indicates due time mode. Locate button B and press it to change your watch into the mode you want. Next, I will show you how to set the time, such as 1710 of October 29, 2018. First of all, press button C for 2 seconds. To enter time setting state, second will blink. You can press button A to adjust the value to be zero. And then press button B to select the other items in turn. Press button A to adjust the flashing item. Um, just like adjusting the value of minutes to be 10. And switch into the hour. Adjust it to be 17. Date 29. And switch into month October. And finally, press button C to confirm and return to time display mode. By the way, press button D to switch between 12 and 24 hour time formats in timer mode. You can see the number is switching between 17 and 5. Press button B to select the alarm mode. Five separate daily alarm functions are available in these models. AL1 to AL5. You can set more than one alarm at a time. Press button A and you can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a blank would appear on this displaying area. These signals respectively correspond to AL1 to AL5 and a normal alarm pattern. The labels of AL1 to AL5, SIG and SNZ are available on the display. Whatever function is activated, a horizontal line will appear on the label of corresponding functions. When pressing button A to switch into the display of a blank, you can press button D to activate or deactivate the hourly check function. A horizontal line will appear on the label of SIG when activating the hourly chime function. Alarm 1 or 
AL1 is equipped with snows function. If we would like to set 720 as a long one, after pressing button A to switch into a long one with a signal 1 in this display area, press button C for 2 seconds to enter a long time setting state. Our will blink and a horizontal line will appear on the label of a long one which shows that the alarm one function has been activated and then press button A to adjust the value to be 7 press button B to select another item minute and press button A to adjust the value to be 20 and press button C to confirm and return to a long one pattern. At this moment, press button D again to activate the node function with a horizontal line on the label of S and Z. If you press button D again, the a long one function and node function will be deactivated. In the pattern of Align 2 to Align 5, press button D to activate the alarming and press button D again to deactivate the alarm function respectively. After the snooze function is activated, it will utter beep sounds every 5 minutes for 7 times. The watch would align for 10 seconds when reaching the preset time. Press any button to stop the alarm. Press button B to select the chronograph mode with the signal STP and press button D to start timing. And press button D again to stop timing. When stopping timing, press button C to reset the mode. If you would like to have split timing measurement, press button D to start timing firstly. and press button C to activate split timing measurement with a signal of SPL and then press button C again to deactivate split timing measurement and press button D to stop the timing and and finally, press button C to reset the mode. If we want to get the finish time of two competitors, you'll need to press button D to start timing. And press button C to activate split timing measurement when the first competitor press the tape, indicating his finish time. When the second competitor press the tape, please press button D. And press button C again to deactivate the split timing measurement indicating the finish time of the second competitor. Finally, press button C to reset the mode. Press button B to select the due time mode. And press button C for 2 seconds. To enter due time setting state, 
hour will blink. If you want to set A20, press button A to adjust the value to be A. The hour setting is done. Press button B to switch into the minutes, and press button A to adjust the corresponding figure, twenty. Finally, press button C to confirm, and return to dual time display mode. Press the button B to select the countdown mode. For example, we have to set a countdown of 2:45. Press button C for two seconds. To enter countdown setting state, hour will blink. Press button A to adjust the value to be two. And press button B to switch into minutes. And also press button A to adjust the corresponding figure. Forty-five. Press button C to confirm. And return to countdown displaying mode. When time is set. Press button D to start the countdown function. After pressing D again to stop the countdown function, you can press button C, and timer will automatically reset to the preset time. To forty-five. When the timer counts to zero second, the countdown function will stop automatically. It will align for nearly ten seconds. Just press any button to stop the timer.